American football is still a young sport in this part of the world, but lately it's been getting attention. Hundreds of players, mainly from Egypt, joined this event to learn from the best. I think this is the first uh, event, event in Egypt to, uh, to have all these players in one place, like around 500 uh, players in one, in one place. Uh, it's a very good experience uh, and I think uh, it's a step forward for the sport uh, to grow in Egypt and for the players to, to gain experience. It's a unique opportunity for the sports lovers to learn from the professionals and as it's rare to get tips from some of the world's most known players, some have came here to pass what they will learn all the way to Saudi Arabia. We're proud to be playing with NFL players. This was a dream to many youth and thank God it became a reality. It was a condensed two-day training through which players' skills were developed. It was also a quick school to create new referees to this growing sport here in Egypt. The trainers say Egyptians were better in the sport than they expected. The quality of play has been great. I still think there's a lot that they need to work around techniques. That's good that we're coming over here and teaching them techniques and the players the proper ways to tackle. And safety is very important for us. Uh, one thing they need to work on is conditioning. I think they need to hit, hit the weights a little more. In the U.S. we focus a lot on conditioning. So a lot of the players that are out there were good athletes, but they may have not been in the right condition to kind of take it to the next level. Such events are created by an organization called American Football Without Barriers. They aim to promote physical fitness through American sports across the world. After China, Brazil and Turkey, Egypt was their fourth country. Currently, American football is played only in Cairo, so the purpose of such events is to expand the sport to new cities and create new teams. And if an Egyptian is skilled enough, the AMWB could give him an opportunity to continue his training in the U.S. through a college scholarship. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.